in Hiroshima, the bombing badly dislocated the city's medical facilities. A makeshift hospital was established at the Shinkansen Primary School, which served as the main medical center. The trains were still running, and evacuated many victims to hospitals in nearby towns. A medical team from a naval hospital reached the city in the evening, and firefighting brigades from the neighboring towns assisted in fighting the fires. 224. Takashi Nagai was a doctor working in the radiology department of Nagasaki Medical College Hospital. He received a serious injury that severed his right temporal artery, but joined the rest of the surviving medical staff in treating bombing victims. 225. Plans for more atomic attacks on Japan. Memorandum from Grove Stowe Marshall regarding the third bomb, with Marshall Shand written caveat that the third bomb not be used without express presidential instruction. Groves expected to have another Fat Man atomic bomb ready for use on 19 August, with three more in September and a further three in October. Winking Sad Smiley 86, a second little boy bomb using U-235, would not be available until December 1945. 226, 227, on the 10th of August, he sent a memorandum to Marshall in which he wrote that the next bomb should be ready for delivery on the first suitable weather after 17 or 18 August. The memo today contains handwritten comment written by Marshall. It is not to be released over Japan without express authority from the President. 86. At cabinet meeting that morning, Truman discussed these actions. James Forrestal paraphrased Truman as saying there will be further dropping off atomic bomb while Henry A. Wallace recorded in his diary that Truman said he had given orders to stop atomic bombing. He said the doubt of wiping out another 100,000 people was too horrific. He didn't like the idea of killing, as he said, all those kids. 228. The previous order that the target cities were to be attacked with atomic bombs as Mada Edi was thus modified. 229. There was already discussion in the War Department about conserving the bombs then in production for Operation Downfall, and Marshall suggested to Stinson that the remaining cities on the target list be spared attack with atomic bombs. 230. Two more Fat Man assemblies were readied, and scheduled to leave Kirtland Field for Tinian on 11 and 14 August, 231, and Tibet's was ordered by Lamey to return to Albuquerque, New Mexico, to collect Team Dot, 232, at Los Alamos. Technicians worked 24 hours straight to cast another plutonium core. 233. Although cast, it still needed to be pressed and coated, which would take until 16 August. 234. Therefore, it could have been ready for use on the 19th of August. Unable to reach Marshall, Groves ordered on his own authority on the 13th of August that the Corps should not be shipped. 229. Surrender of Japan and subsequent occupation. Until the 9th of August, Japan's War Council still insisted on its four conditions for surrender. The full cabinet met at 14 Poland 30 on the 9th of August, and spent most of the day debating surrender. Anami conceded that victory was unlikely, but argued in favor of continuing the war. The meeting ended at 17.30, with no decision having been reached. Suzuki went to the palace to report on the outcome of the meeting, where he met with Kichikido, the Lord Keeper of the Privy Seal of Japan. Kido informed him that the Emperor had agreed to hold an imperial conference, and gave a strong indication that the Emperor would consent to surrender on condition that Kokutei be preserved. A second cabinet meeting was held at 18 o'clock. Only four ministers supported Anami's position of adhering to the four conditions, but since cabinet decisions had to be anonymous, no decision was reached before it ended at 22 colon 200.235. 
calling an imperial conference required the signatures of the Prime Minister and the two service chiefs. But Chief Cabinet Secretary Hisatsu Sakomitsu had already obtained signatures from Toyoda and General Leo Shijinzu in advance, and he reneged on his promise to inform them if a meeting was to be held. The meeting commenced at 23.50. No consensus had emerged by 2 on the 10th of August. But the Emperor gave his sacred decision, 236, authorizing the Foreign Minister, Shigenori Tiji, to notify the Allies that Japan would accept their terms on one condition, that the declaration does not comprise any demand which prejudices the prerogatives of His Majesty as a sovereign ruler. 237, on the 12th of August, the Emperor informed the Imperial family of his decision to surrender. One of his uncles, Prince Azaka, asked whether the war would be continued if the Kokitei could not be preserved. Hirohito simply replied, of course. 238, as the Allied terms seemed to leave intact the principle of the preservation of the throne, Hirohito recorded on the 14th of August his capitulation announcement which was broadcast to the Japanese nation the next day despite an attempted military coup d'etat by militarists opposed to the surrender. 239, in his declaration's fifth paragraph, Hirohito solely mentions the duration of the conflict and did not explicitly mention the Soviets as a factor for surrender but now the war has lasted for nearly four years. Despite the best that has been done by everyone the gallant fighting of military and naval forces, the diligence and assiduity of our servants of the state and the devoted service of our 100 million people, the war situation has developed not necessarily to Japan's advantage, while the general trends of the world have all turned against her interest. The sixth paragraph by Hirohito specifically mentions the use of nuclear ordnance devices, from the aspect of the unprecedented damage they caused. Moreover, the enemy has begun to employ a new and most cruel bomb, the power of which to do damage is, indeed, incalculable taking the toll of many innocent lives. Should we continue Eto fight, not only would it result in an ultimate collapse and obliteration of the Japanese nation but also it would lead to the total extinction of human civilization. The seventh paragraph gives the reason for the ending of hostilities against the Allies such being the case, how are we to save the millions of our subjects? or to atone ourselves as before the hallowed spirits of our imperial ancestors. This is the reason why we have ordered acceptance of the provisions of the Joint Declaration of the Powers. 240, in his rescript to the soldiers and sailors delivered on the 17th of August, Hirohito did not refer to the atomic bombs or possible human extinction and instead described the Soviet declaration of war as endangering the very foundation of the empire's existence. 241. Reportage. The front page of Chicago Daily Tribune dated the 8th of August, 1945. The cartoon refers back to the Japanese Pearl Harbor attack to rationalize the American atomic bombing. The Hiroshima ruins in March and April 1946 by Daniel and of Governor and Harry Minura on the 10th of August, 1945, the day after the Nagasaki bombing, military photographer Yuzuki Yamahata, correspondent Higashi, and artist Yamada arrived in the city with instructions to record the destruction for propaganda purposes. Yamahata took scores of photographs, and on the 21st of August, they appeared in Mainishi Shinban a popular Japanese newspaper. After Japan's surrender and the arrival of American forces, copies of his photographs were seized amid the ensuing censorship, but some records have survived. 242. Nestle Nekashima, a former United Press, UP, journalist, filed first personal account of the scene to appear in American newspapers. He observed that large numbers of survivors continued to die from what later became recognized as radiation poisoning. 
243, on the 31st of August, the New York Times published an abbreviated version of his the 27th of August up article. Nearly all references to uranium poisoning were omitted. An editor's note weighs added to say that, according to American scientists, the atomic bomb will not have any lingering after effects. 244, 243, Wilfred Burchett was also one of the first Western journalists to visit Hiroshima after the bombing. He arrived alone by train from Tokyo on the 2nd of September to find the traveling ban put in place on Western correspondence. 245, Burchett's dispatch, the atomic plague, was printed by the Daily Express newspaper in London on the 5th of September, 1945. The reports from Nakashima and Burchett informed the public for the first time of the gruesome effects of radiation and nuclear fallout radiation burns and radiation poisoning sometimes lasting more than 30 days after the blast. 246, 247, Burchett especially noted that people were dying horribly after bleeding from orifices, and their flesh would rot away from the injection holes where vitamin A was administered, to no avail. 245, the New York Times then apparently reversed course and ran a Front page story by Bill Lawrence confirming the existence of a terrifying affliction in Hiroshima, where many had symptoms such as hair loss and vomiting blood before dying. 245. Lawrence had gained access to the city as part of a press junket promoting the U.S. Army Air Force. Some reporters were horrified by the scene, however, referring to what they saw as a death laboratory littered with human guinea pigs. General MacArthur found their porting to have turned from good PR into bad PR and threatened to court-martial the entire group. He, a telegram sent by Fritz Bilfing, the delegate of the International Committee of the Red Cross (ICRC) on the 30th of August, 1945, from Hiroshima, drew Burchett's press accreditation and expelled the journalist from the occupation zone. 248. The authorities also accused him of being under the sway of Japanese propaganda and later suppressed another story, on the Nagasaki bombing, by George Weller of the Chicago Daily News. Less than a week after his New York Times story was published, Lawrence also backtracked and dismissed their reports on radiation sickness as Japanese efforts to undermine American morale. 249, 245. A member of the U.S. Strategic Bombing Survey, Lieutenant Daniel McGovern, used a film crew to document the effects of the bombings in early 1946. The film crew shot 27,000 m, 90,000 feet, of film, resulting in a three-hour documentary titled The Effects of Atomic Bombs Against Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The documentary included images from hospitals burnt-out building sand cars, and rows of skulls and bones on the ground. It was classified secret for the next 22 years. 250, 251, motion picture company Nippon Agasha started sending cameramen to Nagasaki and Hiroshima in September, 1945. On the 24th of October, 1945, a U.S. military policeman stopped a Nippon Agasha cameraman from continuing to film in Nagasaki. All Nippon Agasha's reels were confiscated by the American authorities, but they were requested by the Japanese government and declassified. 251. The public release of film footage of the city post attack and some research about the effects of the attack was restricted during the occupation of Japan. 252, but the Hiroshima-based magazine Chugaku Bunker, in its first issue published on the 10th of March, 1946, devoted itself to detailing the damage from bombing. 253, the book Hiroshima, written by Pulitzer Prize winner John Hersey and originally published in article form in the New Yorker, 
254 is reported to have reached Tokyo in English by January 1947, and the translated version was released in Japan in 1949. 255, 256, 257, it narrated the stories of the lives of six bomb survivors from immediately prior to, and months after, the dropping of the little boy bomb. 254, beginning in 1974, a compilation of drawings and artwork made by the survivors.